Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another DIY tutorial, but it is an outdoor project that I did a few weeks ago. We've really been working on kind of landscaping our home. Um, it's taken, we've lived here uh, about a year now, and we've just now kind of started attacking the backyard. Our backyard has been so, I want to say dirty, but that's not right. I mean like has a lot of dirt. We call it the Sahara Desert. It looks very deserty. So it's taken a, some time because we are focused so much on inside on being able to go outside and focus on planting all the things. So I saw someone share a meme the other day that said I can't wait to argue with my husband about all the flowers I don't need and that's currently our situation. So we're coming to the end of finally planting everything and letting everything you know, get established over the next couple of years and things like that. And I saw on one of my favorite Instagrammers, Instagram, on how she kind of took advantage of a brick wall space, but grew a trellis in a really cool diamond shape. I've linked her blog down below if you want to see how she did it um, and follow her. Hers is amazing. Um, it's only a year old and it's just like goals. I want mine to look like that so bad. So I don't know. I have really no idea what I was doing. So we somewhat loosely followed her plan of how um, we did the diamond shape. I've put some other ideas down below for you though. If you want to try not a diamond, you want to do a square or a bigger grid pattern or something like that if you want to try it. Um, we do have a brick exterior on our home. So we kind of used it for that. I don't know how it would work if you had traditional like vinyl siding, things like that. I don't know that I would probably do it then. I would maybe build something for you to have a trellis on. And the plant that we used was jasmine. You need any kind of plant that will crawl. So you could also do like wisteria, any kind of ivy. I definitely wanted something that flowered. I love the way that jasmine smells. So I went to Lowe's. That's where I got my plants from. Um, I try to go to local nurseries as much, much as I can, but Lowe's tends to be kind of on my way where I travel a lot, so it's just easier for me to, to stop there. So I kind of walk you through the process of how we installed it. All we paid for were four plants. We had everything else on hand. We had nails. We had the, the specific kind of nails, I should say. You want kind of like a masonry nail that has like little grips along the nail so it kind of holds into the mortar a little bit more. We had the wire on hand. Of course, we had hammers, tools, and a handyman to help me. So I just kind of walk you through that process in this video. So if you'd like to learn how to make your own beautiful, hopefully someday, garden trellis, then keep watching. Okay, so once you've decided on where you're putting this and how big you want it to be, that's when you'll start to kind of measure out your space, figure out your pattern, the specific measurements that we did were pretty loose. We started about eight inches above the ground and we had to work around those vents because our home's on a crawl space. So you just kind of have to adapt for things like that. And then we started placing the nails and we followed a very similar pattern um, to style souffle of the Instagram I linked. So you can see what she did there. And it says really only if you're gonna follow the diamond pattern like we did. So again, you want masonry nails because they're going in the mortar in between the bricks. They need something to kind of grip in there. And the wire is a very thin, just regular steel wire that you can bend and wrap around each of the nails. This is what your vining plant is going to go up. I started digging the holes for our plants which is we used the jasmine like I mentioned before and this is a video of just wrapping that wire really tightly around the nail and running it up to the next nail to make your pattern so you can kind of see how tightly you want to wrap it and just be able to clip that and then you basically just start planting your plants so this is what I do before I plant things. I don't know if this is correct or not. So if you are, you know, have the award for the planter of America, I don't know, maybe you don't want to watch this, but this is typically how I plant my shrubs and things and help loosen them to get them into the soil. 
and then see if I need to adjust the whole size and things like that. So that was the first bush. There are four of them. And then I just started kind of wrapping up the vines around the wire to kind of start teaching them where they basically need to grow. And you'll repeat that with the other three remaining plants. And then here is a video of what it looks like now. Well, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's been a lot of fun to watch it. It's already had a little bit of new growth. I feel like I'm kind of cheating the system a little bit. I do feed it plant food to hopefully coax it into being this big, voluminous, beautiful thing of life. And I hope it works for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Give this video a like if you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know if you want to see anything else from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!